everybody. Hey guys, doing today? I'm doing all right. <sighs> Be honest, it's cold here. We got up to 56, I think, yesterday. Now we're down to 23 today. And it's one of those days where you just want to cuddle under the blankets and uh, hibernate. So today is all mental. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like doing this today. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've got my uh, blisters, both both feet. Uh, they've popped. Thank God. <laughs> and I've got them covered up with blisters, so it's making walking a whole lot easier. My back hurts. I walked uh, five miles two days in a row. That's a that's a um, <laughs> that's uh, pretty big for me. So and my back my back feels it. My back and my feet. The legs are fine. My knees are fine. Um, the glutes. You know, they're tight. They don't really start burning until the end of my day. But it's not a bad burn. It's not like, oh my god, I can't take one more step. No, 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 no. That's just my back and my feet. Um, mentally, I feel like I could run a marathon. I feel like I got energy. Um, I don't like to sit still so much. Um, and that was even before I started exercising every day, but it's more so now. It's like, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. And then when I get up to move, my body's like, uh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. You gotta push through that hurt. You can't let that hurt overrule you or you're not gonna get very far. So, I got this, you know, new, new stuff to exercise with. So, well, I have had some things for a while now, but we got some new stuff. I like the exercise ball. I like it quite a bit because if I sit on it, it uh, takes a lot of the pressure out of my spine. And eases up a good bit of that pain. <laughs> but as far as exercising with it, I don't know if I can do those. I got uh, the resistance bands, not the not the cords, cables, or whatever they're called, but the resistance bands. They look like giant rubber bands. They make me nervous, I'll just say. Um, got those. And uh, there's a website you can go and it shows you different exercises you can do with it. Well, let's just say a couple of them I can't do. Cause my spine, my uh, yeah, spine injuries or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Some of them I can't do because I'm not coordinated enough to do them. Let's just be honest, right? They don't show exercises, exercises for beginners. These exercises are for people that's been using these things for quite a while or something um so I'm thinking about demonstrating <laughs> hmm. <coughs> demonstrating these exercises for a beginner but I'm not sure I really want to embarrass myself any more than I already have by just 
vlogging this journey that I'm on. But I, I mean, I can. If that's what y'all would like to see, I could totally do it. Some of the exercises seem like they might be something that I might be able to pull off. But the other ones, I'm not so sure about. So, um, my husband and I are talking about getting a weight bench exercise bike. And he's wanting an elliptical. I like lifting weights. I enjoy it. Um, kind of takes me back to when I was a kid working out with my dad and my brothers. We had lots of fun doing it. So, exercise bike, I can probably do that pretty well. I used to ride a bike all the time when I was a kid and I loved it. So, elliptical I have no idea what the heck that even is and so I'll, <laughs> I'll, uh, I probably know what it is I just it's not registering in my brain so um, I'm struggling with this diet thing I'll tell you I'll be honest um, I'm using the app my fitness pile and uh, you put in all your information, and uh, it gives you your daily intakes, which isn't the issue. That's not my issue. My issue is um, trying to avoid the things I'm not supposed to have that come naturally in foods, you know, like oatmeal and eggs. You can't take it out of it so but I need those two things in my diet so uh, I'm trying not to get hung up on it but it's really it's it's bugging me <laughs> I won't lie um, and I'm learning real quick that uh, you know These uh, pre-made things, low-calorie things, whatever, they got a ton of sodium in them, a ton of sodium and sugar. So, um, I like pears, but um, pears have a lot of sugar in them naturally. Bananas have a lot of pears in them naturally. <laughs> so, yeah. Finding that balance in your diet where you're eating healthy and uh, trying to stay within the boundaries, you know. It's difficult. It's difficult. Not impossible. So, you know, you just got to learn to adjust your foods um, and find the things that are that are healthy and beneficial like you don't want to eat something low calorie but it not fill you up because then you're gonna want to snack a lot or you're gonna start getting cravings you want to make sure that you know, whatever calories you're taking in are going to make you feel full and uh, be good for you at the same time. So, per my doctor, I'm supposed to be on a high fiber diet, which is fine, but you really got to pay attention, you know, especially uh, if you're dealing with stuff like diabetes or something, you know. Pears are great for fiber, but not so good with sugar. Same with bananas. So, that's what I'm dealing with right now. Struggling with this. Finding the foods that are good and not good. 
Like, stay away from steak. Holy moly. Tastes good. But it's... It's hard to digest. Um, it's a great source of protein. It's seriously hard to digest. And fat, fat, fat. And it's natural fats, but it's still fat that I can't have a whole lot of. So, if you guys know of any good high fiber foods besides beans and fruits and, you know, vegetables, and I, I mean, like, I like cabbage. I like broccoli, I like cauliflower, I like all that. Carrots. You know. What's your favorite? Fruits and vegetables. I can't do the citric fruits because of the acid. It uh, flares up my stomach. But I can do all the other ones. But yeah, I think right now... And I'll get it. You know, I've just been doing this. This is my second week in this. I'll get it. Figured out. But it's a struggle. I mean, it's enough to make people quit. You know, when they have to figure out this, that, and the other. You know? So, that's where I'm at today. My body is just sore. It's not... I injured myself pain at all. It's just, eh, I don't want to. Baby fit type pain. <laughs> and trying to figure out a good healthy balanced diet. So, I like yogurt, but man, that's full of sugar. Full of sugar. And I really don't want to have a whole lot of, a whole lot of sugars. So, Diabetes runs on my um, dad's side of the family. So, and according to doctors, because I was born extra, extra large, uh, I ran a higher chance of having diabetes when I get older. And I don't want to. <laughs> That's uh, another reason I'm doing this get healthy kind of thing is I don't want diabetes. Cause so it runs in Dudley's family too. So and I know I'm I'm not trying to cut out all sugars. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um just uh decrease the amount of un unnecessary sugar I should say. Just so but uh yeah, that's where we're at today. I hope you're all doing well. If you're out there exercising, push through the negativity. You got this and you can do it. Keep marching forward. Love you all. You have a great day.